Norman, 24-7 Sud Maryland Sports. We're in gossip. You saw a lot of people today. You had Sean Merriman at your event. What, what was your event like? It was great. We had Sean Merriman. We had uh, Walt Williams. We had Eric Ayala and Chris Naki. Probably our best best lineup ever. So it was an amazing show. I was out there early. A lot of people. How many people have shown up? Oh, I don't know. A lot was pretty full. We weren't in the like high traffic area. We were over in UU by the Xfinity steps, but uh, there were a lot of a lot of a lot of what WV fans, but they kind of kept their distance. So it was a great uh, show. instant takeaways as we wait for Talia to come in and speak. What were your takeaways from from being here and seeing this great win? I think it's a huge win from a program building perspective. I think that. Um, you know, it's, it goes beyond just a win, 1-0. and You know, this was a swing game. The next three games are winnable, uh, but this one was going to be the toughest of those first four. Now you have a chance to start 4-0, and you know, and, and yeah, from a program-building perspective, they haven't beaten W. They've beaten WVU, excuse me, once in the past 10 years. Yep. So, you know, that you're kind of breaking a, a slump there, and, you know, I think it's, for Loxley, it's, you could argue it's Loxley's biggest win. No, Penn State is his biggest win, but this is, this is a good one. Well, biggest win with fans around. There you go. And that was really something. It felt like, I mean, you've been around a while. I've been here a while. It felt like old times with the uniforms. And that's one of the few times that Maryland gets the lead, has to kill the clock, do the old Rigo drill, and they burn the last 253 and walk off the field. Yeah. And, and I was just waiting for it. I hate to say this. I was waiting for it to go wrong, and it didn't. I think everybody probably was once West Virginia got that field goal and – Maryland's running game had been stalling pretty frequently throughout the day. Uh, early, you know, by halftime, I think they were averaging two yards a carry. I think that run by Fleet Davis, obviously. But Isaiah Jacobs also gave them a huge punch in the fourth quarter with some really strong runs. So he's a guy, clearly, that they are going to give opportunities to. I think he solidified himself as the number two back. All right. So if you don't already subscribe, take a look at Inside Maryland Sports 24-7. That's Jeff Ehrman. I'm Wayne Viner. Uh, certainly we will see you after the Howard game next Saturday night. Good evening.